So let's start with you, Stephanie. What attracted you to this project? A couple of things. First of all, the script, because when I went for the audition, I, I didn't see Annabelle, the first one. I just went in and for the audition, and then, and then I was curious, so I went home and I saw Annabelle, the first Annabelle, and I had so many questions about the doll and where, like, why is evil? Where does it come from? And then they sent me the script, and I was like, oh, it's so funny that this actually responds, answers all my questions that I have about the doll. So I thought that was great. I was like, this is a great story to tell because it's the origin. And second, the fact that it's the cast is full of females. I love that. Working with kids, I love. And the most important thing is that I was going to play a nun. <laughs> but I never imagined playing a nun. So it was, it was just a fun, fun uh, challenge. Yeah. And um, speaking of your character, tell us a little bit about her. Uh, my character, is, she takes care of six orphans, six girls. And she, she, you know, her priority is the kids, protecting them, guiding them, making sure that they're fine, and giving them a, a second chance. Um, that's basically what she does, and, and she's, a, she, she's a spiritual warrior. Um, yeah, I think that's, that basically describes my character. Yeah. I like that description, spiritual warrior. Cool. Yeah, I do too. Um, so, David, how did this all come about for you? Was this something that you were, had been looking at for a while? or, or? I mean, I, I'd been a fan of the Conjuring franchise since I saw the first Conjuring uh, and thought it was one of the greatest horror movies, especially that year. Um, and um, for me, I mean, th this came about during post-production on Lights Out. You know, everyone's very happy with that. We all had a good experience on it. So they asked me, like, if I would be interested in doing the, the sequel to Annabelle. And um, it, to be honest, I, at first I was like, where, where, where are you going to take that? Like, is there more to tell there? Uh, but then I, I read the script and realized that, yes, there was, because you had they had this whole origin story that was sort of its separate thing with new characters, a new story, uh, you know, something that I could make my own and something that could stand on its own as well because, like, you don't necessarily need to have seen the first Annabelle, you know, even to, to enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really good. And how do you, how do you feel that the, that the era that this story takes place in adds to the story? I, there's something about period movies or, or making things in the past, it just lends itself really well to horror. I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, part of it is that they don't have cell phones, so they can't, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> call for help and do all that. But it's, it's just something about the past. You know, if you go to an antique store and you look at those really old photos of people, there's something mm -hmm. creepy about it, you know? There's something inherently creepy about the past for some reason. And speaking about creepy, let's talk about Annabelle. Like <laughs> Annabelle is a creepy doll, but what what is her what is her role in this family? What is her connection to this family? She uh, well, the Mr. Mullins is a doll maker, so he makes Annabelle. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she gets Annabelle, the name Annabelle, because of B, right? Yeah. Because of the dolls maker's daughter mm -hmm. who died in an accident, tragic accident, and Mr. and Mrs. Mullins try to get her back in a way to communicate with her when she's already dead, so they connect with dark forces, and that's how evil comes to the house. Yeah, they, they don't handle loss in a very healthy way, and that yes. allows yeah, evil forces to, to, to latch on to that, to, to prey on their desperation to mm. sort of get into our world. Now, do you feel that, that your character realizes this early on, or it's, it's kind of like she's a very spiritual person, but it seems like, you know, there's at one point when she's just telling the girls all to go to bed because, you know, everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> she has but a everything. lot to deal with. She can't deal with the kids. Right. Like, you 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 can see a lot in your just your expressions and your well facing. when when there's a moment of panic I think as a as the grown up as the adult the, your job is also to try to stay calm which sometimes can seem ridiculous mm -hmm. because a lot of things are happening but that's your job 
not to create more chaos, right? So I feel like sometimes in those situations that are unique situations, you just don't know what to do, even though you're a grown up, like you just don't know what to do <laughs> and like where to go. Yeah, so true. Um, and I guess even though you're sitting right here, what, how, what did David, I've, I've talked to everyone else and, and obviously um, they've said great things about you, but what did David bring to this set as a director? A fresh perspective, which is always really cool to see. And um, it's just fascinating to see him do things for the first time and be like, oh, let's just do this. And you're like, oh yeah, I mean, cool. I mean, it's not what you, maybe you're used to, something different, but it's because, you know, a lot of things he's doing for the first time and that's very refreshing and really cool because he enjoys that and he loves this, he loves horror movies. Yeah. That's what he does. And I, I, just, <laughs> I just love seeing him making a horror movie. Yeah, that's great. And you got, you got this great cast. Did it, yes. you know, you, you got very fortunate. Can you talk about some of the other? The yeah, I mean, we, we did sort of an, had an, an extensive casting process to find these girls, to find the, the best ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we really managed to do, to yeah. find the best ones, yeah. you know, with Talitha and Lulu and all these girls are just such professionals and so good at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just, you just automatically feel sympathetic to these <laughs> poor kids, you know, in the movie. Uh, but then, you know, we had... Stephanie and Miranda Otto and Anthony LaPaglia, who all, I mean, I'm so fortunate to, to work with such professionals that make my job as a director so easy, and they, you know, they make me look like I know what I'm doing, <laughs> because they, they give such good performances, you know? Uh, and, and then you make me look like I don't know what I'm doing by sending the kids to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, no, but yeah, it's just, a pleasure to work with such great actors. Yeah, it, it really came out. Came it was a great it, team. It, yeah. Yeah, and it's a great film. So what would you say audiences are in store for when they go see this film? I just, you know, they're going to have a very fun, scary time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, judging yeah. by the screenings we've had so far, it's a little bit of a roller coaster ride where you yeah. have people like, oh, and then they get scared, and then you just laugh about, scared, about being scared, and then you go up that hill again, you know. And, yeah. you There's know. A, lot of, a lot of screams and a lot of uh, laughs. Hey, Vali here. Now, a lot of effort goes into making a movie and this, the exorcist behind the scenes fact goes to show it. William Friedkin had a shotgun with blank shells that he'd shoot off on the soundstage during breaks. It scared the daylights out of everybody. And after a few times, he was asked to stop. The actors didn't find it funny. What they didn't know was that their reactions were being filmed and later inserted into the movie as their reaction when Regan made a sound upstairs. Hmm. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. See you next time.